OptiVision. Cruise control is a device that makes a driver's life easy in international freight forwarding, and today it allows savings and fuel consumption. It's equipped with an algorithm that reacts autonomously to variable road and terrain conditions. It makes the ride more fluid and rational. OptiVision, or topographic cruise control, works with a telematic gateway exchanging GPRS data that contains information on the terrain or road profile. GPS positioning delivers information about the current location of the vehicle to the computer and makes decisions about the speed, current gear, or use of the drivetrain retarder. For OptiVision to engage, certain conditions must be met. The truck must travel with cruise control at a speed of at least 60 km an hour, remaining at Eco Level 1 or 2, and with the OptiDriver transmission in auto mode. If the above conditions are met, the main display tab of the instrument panel will show the currently selected Eco Level, while a satellite pictogram will appear in the upper right-hand corner. Be aware! It does not have to be visible immediately after switching on the cruise control, but only when OptiVision begins to interface with the vehicle. Drivers often ask if OptiVision can be turned off. The answer is simple. No, it cannot. Every time when we use cruise control, OptiVision turns on automatically. If you don't want to use it, simply turn off cruise control. Let's briefly take a look at the operations algorithm. While approaching the incline, the system will assess the initial speed at which the climb will be most appropriate so as to stay in the highest gear. If necessary, the car will accelerate by up to 5 km an hour from the set cruise control speed. Naturally, the speed limit will be determined by the value of the limiter in the vehicle, for example 90 km an hour. Therefore, while driving at 87 km an hour, the truck will autonomously accelerate by only 3 km an hour. When going over an incline as the engine revs drop, the computer will decide whether to drop even below the green indicator if that is to ensure reaching the top of the incline without having to reduce the gear. If the top of the incline is followed directly by a descent, the system will activate the freewheel opt-to-roll, thereby disengaging the drivetrain. The vehicle will roll past the top of the incline, saving fuel and allowing the speed to drop below that set on the cruise control. The speed drop will be acceptable, as the computer has estimated that it will make up for this loss for free as soon as the descent begins. When going down, the car will automatically activate the OptiBrake engine brake so that it will not go more than 8 km over the Eco Level 1 speed set on the cruise control. The braking power control will be autonomous and will depend on the forces exerted on the truck during the descent. What will happen if the descent goes straight to another incline? Let's take a look at the speed display. Just before the end of the descent, the computer will reduce the power of the engine brake for a fraction of a second, allowing a short speed increase of 3 km an hour. That way, our vehicle will accumulate additional kinetic energy completely for free, in the end making it cheaper to go over the descent. To sum it up, OptiVision Cruise Control will have great results in a hilly terrain with greater fluctuation of speeds. You may have the misleading impression that the average speed is actually lower. It is quite the opposite. Thanks to the knowledge of the route profile and the energy calculations necessary to climb successive inclines, the car will move faster while consuming less fuel than an inexperienced Billy Big Rigger. Actually, while using OptiVision, we have a guarantee of obtaining satisfying results of fuel economy while maintaining a high average speed. An additional advantage of this system compared to even the best trained drivers is the lack of fatigue and distraction. All decisions will be made accurately and in a split second. With accumulated mileage exceeding many hundreds of thousands of kilometers, this will definitely prove quite meaningful.